Are we okay? Why am I... No, it's a rendered one. Oh! Resistance! Hey, Resistance! Oh, wait! Oh! What? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. His friend's vision is now his vision. Damn! Heck yeah, man. Visions is our vision. We are. Wait, why don't I have that move? Not again. Oh no. She's giving me no rest. She has given me no rest. So we meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? The Fatui have deceived the Raiden Shogun. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt decree. You know, everything is going on outside? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hut decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. But the Vision Hut decree is damaging. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. Jeez. What you might not realize is that all too often, People have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. I mean, true, but come on, you Consider can't stop this. them. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Tepe. Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, change. I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. This is your plane of euthymia? It's created by your consciousness, yes? That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will. I'm not here to Aren't debate you? your ideas. I'm here to demolish them. Hmm. Damn. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Come on. Do you wish to become the enemy of eternity, traveler? Invisible evidence! This ends now. Defract! Here you are. Well now. Mm, the plan's changed. I am not prepared for her. Time to clean up. Steady as stone. I will mold you into the foundations of eternity. Terminate! Where is she? Oh, when come on, she's far. From the land of eternity. Ah! Wait, where do I go? Oh, I destroy her things and ah, uh, yeah. Strike dead. The law. Has oh, how about now? Loopholes. Fuck.
Oh no, this is the only thing I have. I did not prepare for this. I mm, dumbass. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Evasion is futile. A grave over the side. I think we just lose this one for a while. Leave it all to me. Oh, this is gonna be a slow picking. Incinerate! Strike dead. Oh, uh, shit. Ah, uh, we're lacking. Full we'll instinct again. This ends now. I can't see her. Where's she? Strike dead. My heaviest hitter is down. Propagate. No, I'm actually supposed to beat her this time. You I are an enemy. No stone unturned. Special attention. Incinerate. Instabilities will be removed. Ah, uh, do your thing. I will mold you to the foundations of eternity. Oh yeah. Scatter! Strike dead! No! I wasn't meant for this world. Oh yeah, I can't use my shield. It's a Oh, come on. Do I just lose this? Oh, it's a scripted loss again? Are you kidding me? Oh. I guess canonically it makes sense I can't just beat a god. Oh, that thing! Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Well, yeah, I, hmm? how? Miko, this was your doing? Now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Okay. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? I was hoping. Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which okay. they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> I'm actually closing my eyes. I'm not looking up. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Knock on my power, bitch. Tepe. <laughs> we can abolish the vision hunt decree. vision is stronger than your eternity as a dutiful maid would <laughs> what are you doing Do some damage before he dies. So. Everything's so slow. Scatter. Time to clean up. Steady Come as on. 
Whatever. Oh, help then. Incinerate. I miscalculated. Wait, did I did I just get revived for no reason? Well, I didn't foresee this. I just get to revive. I can just stay on fire. Well, now, a grain over sight. As a good knight should, I must leave no stone unturned. Yeah, of course I'm gonna get this first try. Scatter! No, 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 move. I'll hate him. Move! This world a fleeting shadow. Thunder! I didn't foresee. I'm gonna come back. Oh no, I'll see him's actually down. The law has Give me a sec. Do your thing, give me a sec. Process of elimination. Last one, last strike. <laughs> Scatter. <laughs> I must leave no stone unturned. <laughs> oh, are we done? Damn. You've lost, eh? Yeah. <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people? and in the power of their ambitions. These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. When people move forward with all their might, they can surpass the gods' expectations. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? Yep. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. I'm about to get your sad backstory. Yes, I am. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. Hey, yeah, it does. 
With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. Ah, oh, we killed the dick, big snake. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. No, the only. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every thunder sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Oh. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Okay. That was awesome. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. Yeah. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Um, stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <laughs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. Mm. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? Yeah. This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? Yeah, you have. I... have nothing to say to that <laughs> but I have so much to say to you let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries is this gonna take more than 10 minutes <laughs> how long will that take? exactly my thought as a Fox envoy I have an excellent memory I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity can you guys send me out first before you guys catch up because I got stuff to do so it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you oh. <laughs> <sighs> Miko I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again <sighs> seeing you again is a change to eternity and a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, 
Now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Oh, that easy, okay. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. Okay. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun Ooh. abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Choice of words? Okay. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Mm -hmm. Some hey, ambitions hey, everyone. Hey, guys. have the power to heal wounds. Go! To bring victory. I should level you up. To inspire hope. <laughs> that was finally out the tea house. Hi, everyone. Cats. But oh. some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. No. Oh. They wait. remain as they were in the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. Burning bright and true. Oh. For all eternity. No, that's eternity. So what did you guys do in the Raiden Shogun's plane of Euthymia anyway? Oh, you weren't there? We got our ass handed to us. Is the Vision Hunt Decree abolished? Did you not see the pro- <laughs> We conveyed the wishes of the people. Oh, gotcha. Paimon was super worried, you know. So maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Okay. Why, hello, if it isn't the Triumphant Traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. No. Unless, do I have enough <laughs> electro sigils? You literally told us to come meet you here! Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Oh, someone's happy to be reunited with her friend. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Yep. Mm hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger, no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. Did it first try. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. Mm -hmm. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. Yeah. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Please don't tell me they actually got the hand on the Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. I think she knows, Paimon. Oh. W what's wrong? Are you kidding me? I handed that over. Huh? You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the balladeer exactly? Uh, we didn't even get to see the Gnosis get stolen. So Gnosis is long gone then. The balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Any old? It's the Gnosis! It's... 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 What was the Gnosis in your hands? After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. I should have stolen She no it. longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Ah, crap. Thus, the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> uh. When you put it like that, 
Hyman has to agree. The traveler is worth more than a gnosis. Never knew I could fetch such a high price. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Okay. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? Hopefully. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about uh, the road ahead or the events of the past. I really know. What would you like to know about? About my sister, I Sorry, guess. Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. Okay. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Yeah, I don't think she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Yep. Don't worry. We are yeah, shut up. <laughs> Next question. As for your sister's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. No more questions. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Yamiko. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler, do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Of course, I'll keep it in a safe place. Keep it safe? Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. I mean, I would if they allow me to. I don't have a costume that does that, so no, I just keep it in my pocket, my infinitely large pocket. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler. What is your ambition? I guess to be reunited with my sister, I guess? Why is that the... I guess that's our main mission, not our ambition. I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Okay. And that's done! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I finally finished that. Oh, talk to Catherine. I'll get to that. That's the Inazuma mission. And we're gonna start whatever I need to do next. I guess I gotta talk to Catherine, but I guess that's the end of Inazuma, so <laughs> thanks for watching and bye!